In this particular lecture, let's work on styling this to do form which we have as well as the to do items which will be displayed up over here. So in order to style this particular form, we will be making use of CSS modules. So in order to create CSS module for the form here, I'll go inside the components folder, create a new file. And as we want to create a CSS module for the form component, I would say form dot module.css. So this particular module is going to contain all the files which will be used to style this form which we have up over here. So now if I want to style this form, I have to first import this CSS module here. So I'll go at the very top and I would import that here by saying, okay, I want to import the styles from the current directory which is dot slash and then I want to import the styles from form dot module dot CSS and that's it. Once we have imported that now we could go ahead and access all the classes which are present in here. So let's close all the other files and let's simply open up the form and this file right here. Now let's go ahead and let's learn how we could style this form which we have in our HTML page. So in order to style this first of all I have to go inside the form component and kind of assess what kind of data we have there. So inside this particular form, we have the form, then we have the input. We also have a button over here as well. So now let's go ahead and let's create a couple of CSS classes for those particular things here. So let's first start with the form which we have here. So in order to style this form, I'll go over here and I'll create a class called as to do form. And if I have to apply the styling over here to this particular form, I could go ahead and define the CSS properties in here. But even before that, let's actually apply or use that particular class here by saying, okay, the form is going to have a class name and this class is going to be styles dot. That's going to be the name of the form, which is to do form. All right. So now if I go back here, this is what you'll be able to see. Now let's go ahead and let's split this code view and let's have the form open in one file and the CSS file open in other. So right now, as we are styling this particular form itself, let's define a couple of CSS properties in here. So let's say I want this form to have a background color of white. So background color is white. And let's say I also want to add some border radius. So border radius is going to be, let's say eight pixels. I would also add some padding over here as 20 pixels. I would add some width. So let's say the width of the form, I want to set it to 500 pixels. And let's say I want to set the margin to zero and auto. And let's say I want to set the margin from the top, which is this margin over here to be 50 pixels. So I could go ahead and change that as well by saying margin top as 50 pixels. And then finally, let's also add some kind of a shadow to the form itself so that the form kind of looks like it's in a card. So I would say box shadow. And I would set the shadow to zero, then four pixels, six pixels. And then I want to set the RGBA value of this one to zero. So the RGBA value is going to be zero for red, zero for green and zero for blue as well. And I would set the alpha value to 0.1. All right. So now if I take a look at the form here, this is what the form looks like. So as you can see, we have a nice looking container for the form, which has a card kind of layout and it also has shadow to it as well, which kind of gives it a 3D effect. Now let's start styling this input field, which we have. So in order to style up this particular input field, we first have to go ahead and assign it a class. So I have to go back to the code here. And for this particular input field, I would say the class is going to be, let's say, styles dot and let's name this class as modern input. And now we simply have to define that class up over here. So I'll go ahead and say modern input as a class and we will define the properties of that class here. So now for this particular input field, uh, let's say I want to set the width of this thing to 100%. And then I also want to remove the borders here. So I would say let's set the width of this thing to 100%. So width is 100%. And after that, I would also remove the border. So border is going to be none. And now along with this, I'll also set the display of this to block. All right. So right now, if you take a look at this particular field, this is what it looks like. So it kind of disappeared from here and you're not able to see if there's any form here. 
So in order to fix that particular problem, let's go ahead and let's add some kind of a placeholder to this one. So over here, I could say placeholder as something like enter to do item. Now, if I go back now, as you can see, the placeholder kind of makes it appear like an input field. However, there's another problem here. And that problem is if you click on this particular input field, the outline kind of shows up and it kind of spoils the look of this particular form. So whenever you click on that input field, it said that the input field is now focused. So you have to set the focus property for that as well. So over here, I have to say dot modern input and on focus, which means that whenever the user clicks on this particular input field, I want the outline to be still none. So I would say outline is none. So now what happens is even if I click here, still, this is not going to show the outline. And that's exactly what we wanted as well. And now let's set a couple more properties here. So I would say the color of the text, which is going to be entered here is going to be black. So color is going to be black. Let's also set the font size as well. So let's say whatever text we are entering here is going to be 16 pixels. All right. So now this kind of looks ready. The next thing which we need to style now is this button which we have. So just as we have styled the input field in a similar fashion, let's also style the button by having a class name to this one. This is going to be styles dot and let's name the class as modern button. And let's make use of that class here. So modern button is going to be the name of the class. And let's have a couple of CSS properties in here. So the first property which I'm going to set for this one is that I'm going to set the display of this thing to inline block. So inline block. After that, let's remove the borders which we have for this particular button. So I could say, I want to set the border to none. And after that, I would set the border radius of this button to let's say four pixels. Let's also set the background color as well. So we will set the background color the same as what we have used for the header. So for the header, we have used the background color, which is hash F seven C A 18. So let's save this as well. And if I go back, this is what the button looks like. Now the button, as you can see, it kind of lacks some padding. So let's add some padding here. So let's say I want to set a padding of 12 pixels and 20 pixels. So padding is going to be 12 pixels. So this will add padding from all the sides. But if you want a different padding on the left and on the top, you could specify that as well. And now let's say you want the color of the text inside the button to be white. So over here, I could set the color to white. So color is going to be hash FF FF FF. After that, uh, whenever I hover on this one, I want the cursor to be pointer. So I could say the cursor would be pointer. So right now, if I hover over this, now the cursor has changed to this hand over here, which is a pointer. So that's set as well. All right, now the button is pretty much ready. But now the thing is, we actually want to align the button and this particular input field right next to each other rather than aligning them on top of each other. So how exactly could you do that? So if you take a look at this code, so let me close this for a while. So if you take a look at the form here, the form has input and the button directly added here. So if you want to align these two elements next to each other, that means you need to have a container for this particular input and a button, and you have to set that container to be flex. So that means we need to now add additional div here. So I'll add a div here. And in between these two divs, I'm going to place these two input and the button. So I'll paste it right in here. And this is still going to be the same unless I actually change the class of this thing to be flex. So here I would say class name is going to be, let's say styles dot. And let's name this particular class as input container as this is an input container. So after that, let me open up that file. And over here, I would set the display as flex. So I would take the input container. So input container. And I want to set the display of this thing to flex. As soon as I do that, now as you can see, these two things are aligned next to each other. So you have this, and then you also have this button over here as well. And as you can see, our form pretty much looks ready. So if I set the size back to 100%, uh, this is what the form looks like. And you could type in 
any kind of task here. And if you click on add, now that task would be added up over here. Now the next thing which we need to style here is this particular to-do list which we have. So let's go ahead and let's style this to-do list in the next lecture.